okay, I thought I'd make a movie, um, a video just to show how um, to set up a uh, tail stop quill inside the tail stop. Um, this is, this applies to you know, customers who may have purchased a new quill or if someone wants to disassemble their tail stock and grease the spindle on the, on the tail stock so that everything's running freely again. So um, the first thing I like to do when setting up a new one, because we'll need to drill some holes, is bring it to the end of the bed and clamp it tight. Then if the tail stock spin, uh, spindle and quill has been removed like this, um, you'll need to re-grease this because you want the outside surface to be greased inside the tail stock itself. So we'll do that now. Brush a bit of grease on there. Then you can use like you use a lithium-based grease. Um, also, if you have a bit of excess grease, you want to grease grease here. This one has already been greased, so the, the tail stock spindle itself is full of grease, and also this has already been greased between the push and the tail stock spindle. Now, up inside, if if you've Pull this out and remove this key, which you should not have done. But if you have, you'll need to set the depth of the key. And it's probably gonna be very difficult to see, but what, you'll, what you do is you wind the key in until, it, until the quill won't pass past it. And then you'll go back, back half a turn, and then it'll pass through. At that stage, you need to tighten up the nut, which will keep it in position. So, I hold with a 5mm Allen key, I hold the um, keyway itself in position, tighten it up. Then it's important to check it because it needs to run smooth. If it doesn't run smooth at this stage, the key might have turned a little bit inside, holding on the, on the keyway. So, you just have to undo it and try again until it does run free. Okay, after that, you want to stick in the little brass piece back into the into the hole. Put a little bit of grease on here. Replace the the lever. And then just make sure it locks. It's important to have the brass in there so you don't damage the quill. So that works, right? Um, so now what we want to do is go and whack on the hand wheel. Then you'll need a clamp of some type to hold the um, spindle in there. So if I move this back, you can see the whole thing's moving back and forwards. So if I put my clamp on here and tighten it in position, I'll then push it forwards as far as it can go and then tighten up the lever. So that's all locked in place. And okay, now what we need to do is drill some marks onto the bush and the spindle and those little um, countersunk marks are to hold the grub screw in there tight. So I like to do one at a time. have a look and make sure you've got a full circle in there. So you use a 6.7 or a 6.8 millimeter drill for that. Sorry about that, I forgot the air. So at that stage you can blow it off. And then place back in the grub screw which came out of that position. It's either going to be 10 or 12 millimeters long, depending on the machine. Okay, so that's that one done. Now it's holding everything in position so you can drill the other two.
just be careful and make sure your drill doesn't wander up because you're going to damage the thread. So you just want to start it nice and easily, nice and slowly. Okay, so I've got two really nice little holes. Little, two nice little marks which you may not be able to see in there, but they're just perfect circle so that the, the tip of the grub screw is going to locate in there and nothing's going to move either way. So after these have been tightened, we can remove the, the G-clamp. And we can try it to see if it moves. If it's tight or has tight spots in it, that's actually really free. But if it has tight spots in it where it's tight, you just need to take a plastic hammer and you can just give it a little whack above where the screw is. And then try it again. It's still got a little tight spot another little whack and it just it just moves it away off the off the sh um, back of here off the back of the tailstock it'll just separate them slightly which will allow it to move freely okay and when that locks you've only got a small amount of movement which is what you need in there so that there is how to fit a, a new tailstock spindle to a tailstop, a Vic Mark Lathe. Thanks.